Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to West. Uh, Bollocks, I almost did it again. Third Age! Third Age! Total War. Massive Overhaul Sub Mod. God, I'm unprofessional. <laughs> I suck. There you go. But yeah, when we last left off, we were defending some forces against Mordor and the Mountain Fort and the Misty Mountains and Goblin Town as well. Uh, last time my fucking recording software was some reason picking up a mic that I owned a year ago. And it didn't fucking pick up my voice at all, so... Yeah, sorry about that again, guys. Something to investigate. Bring this guy down here, just to keep an eye on what the hell Arnold's up to. They, shall not see me, sire. Sire, no further oh, they have some large armies. What I want to do here, I want to group the forces at here and take them over to the Lonely Mountain. I, I don't know incredibly what the best thing to do here is. I'm thinking of attacking Mordor. Because they're going to be on my doorstep. If Well, they are already on my doorstep, to be honest. But if I continue to build here and attack Mordor over here, or whether or not I should focus all my efforts on one place. I don't know. It's rather annoying. My king. I, Lord. I. First and first, we'll bring our full garrison to this place. Just get rid of that guy, really. I sire, my king. March. That'll do him today, sire. I lord. I sire. Move out. We march no further today. Yeah, we retrain those guys from Goblin Town and just keep fucking. My king, I, I lord, my king, I, my king, I, I lord, I sire. Just keep retraining your troops and everything. Uh, I want to build that guy. The, guard, the guards of Khazadum. Which would be a nice little addition to the army. Because like, we do have Isengard on our borders as well. Which is why we don't want to leave fucking Mord Moria undefended. But if we attack Mordor, at the very least, we'll have some extra income to fight the uh, Easterlings on the other side of the borders. Okay, uh, next turn, I suppose, and then we'll move some forces from the Lonely Mountain to attack the Easterlings. This is the theory, really. Uh, this thing, really. Uh, the Easterlings are quite a different enemy compared to like the normal orcs and stuff that the dwarves are used to fighting. Against orcs and stuff, then the dwarves are fucking like unstoppable with heavy infantry and everything. But against their run and their damn cavalry, they're a bit more of a fucking challenge. And they have so much goddamn money! Where the hell do they get it all from? <laughs> Whenever the hell I beat them back, there's like 20 full stacks trying to attack me afterwards. I beat them back, my armies are fucking dead, so I have to go retrain. And then because Dale is so goddamn useless, by the time I've retrained everything, they've taken back all the land that I've took. And if I stayed there, I would have died. 
So it's like, okay, how the fuck are we going to uh, win against them? These bastards. And even if we beat fucking Easterlings, we have all of Mordor to take, which has pretty much taken all of uh, Rohan's territory. I think Isengard controls pretty much all of Rohan. Mordor and those Hakar guys, whatever the fuck their name is, don't ask me to pronounce that. The guys before the run, the other southern dudes, whatever the hell they're called. They control quite a portion of Gondor's land, as well as uh, Mordor, I think, controls Mirna's Tirith. But Gondor's fucked. Rohan's fucked. <laughs> Dale's fucking screwed if I decide to get pissed off at him and just leave him to their fate. See, look, there's fucking pretty much three full stacks attacking them now. And they always got an entire stack here that they could send down to help. And another one there that they could send down to help. But they don't, because Dale is fucking useless. My king. I. Forward. I. But I'll send these guys to the Orc outpost here. They can join up with them, and we're going to send the forces to attack Mordor. Once those guards are built, I'm going to move as well through the... I don't know, I'm, I'm going to do something. I don't know what the hell Arnor's doing either. They sh they have to share borders with Isengard, don't they? That's why I sent this spy over here to check out what the fuck they are doing. And see, look, this place is rebels, and yet they still haven't taken it. And I don't think... Actually, I don't think they do share borders with Isengard. And they still have... Ugh. So what I need to do is send some troops over here, take these places and give them to Arnor so that they can actually attack Isengard. They'll fuck up Isengard like without any fucking effort and then they'll attack Mordor which will get Mordor off my back. Hopefully. Probably. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Something to investigate. We'll send these spies in just to get an idea of what Mordor's defenses look like. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. We need to fucking change up our strategies a little bit. My king. Aye, aye, Lord. My king, onward. Aye. March. Aye, my eyes. My king. Um. It raises the... Yeah, I, don't, I don't fucking know what I'm going to do. Things are not looking good for minister, fucking Middle Earth. <laughs> I have one plan. To take the king around to the Iron Hills. Meet up with Gimli and his son. March down here and take some of the stuff around the, the Sea of Run. Which has given them most of their income. But if I do that... It will leave the Lonely Mountain pretty much undefended. And, well. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just, whatever I do, there's an incredibly, horribly bad in outcome that could come out of it. Let's keep the king outside the lonely mountain for now. I don't know, it's just... If I move a certain way, something else could happen. If I move one way, another thing could happen. If I move this way, something else bad could happen. <laughs> this is not turning out to be the best of situations. Then again, I think I've said that before. Pretty much every video that I do, I say we're screwed. 
Literally, that should be my motto. We're screwed, and yet we always win, and I don't think we're going to win this. I'm really doubting, actually, this might be like one of the first campaigns that I've ever actually lost with a Total War game. I mean, I could stay on the defensive against the Easterlings and live, but that would be really boring, and it would take up like 80 turns. <laughs> Well, it would pretty much just be the same, doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, and we don't want that. <sighs> I don't know. It's the thing with these long turn times. It gives me fucking time to think, but, uh... I'm just... I, I have no idea what to do. I mean, I tried to help Dale. I got all their lands back. I even gave them that castle of thingamajig where my fucking king died trying to save them. I'm going to send all these forces against Mordor, I think. It's the same deal with the Iron Islands. If I leave them undefended, they're going to get attacked. And I could simply leave the Lonely Mountain and Arnold fully... And, uh, Lonely Mountain and fucking... Iron Hills, or whatever the hell you want to call them, the yeah, Iron Hills, fully defended, and let Dale die, but Dale is useful, especially for the script thing that lets him spawn units, and I'd constantly be doing the same thing over and over again, but then I could shift my focus to fighting Mordor on this front. Ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I never have this problem with Westeros. Damn it. If Arnold got off their asses and actually attacked, took some of the pressure off. Because right now Mordor's just focusing on us, I imagine. So they don't share borders with anyone apart from me huh? and Dale. Well, Dale and the elves is who they share borders with. And me now, because they've killed some of the elves. <laughs> Mordor has pretty much beaten their way through the elven borders to me. Although, if I attack Mordor from the Misty Mountains with the troops that I have, I strengthen the elves by getting them back their lands. And then the elves can help Dale against the Easterlings. I don't know. I don't know. I, I literally don't know. <laughs> oh, God damn it, this is going to win badly. This is going to win really goddamn badly. Oh, bollocks. No, go away. Alright, so, fucking evil lord of death has officially called a giant fucking raid on my town. Thanks for that. I do so love when this happens. Okay, so we are officially not moving fucking, uh... <laughs> we are not moving the lord out of 
Kazadom. He can stay nice and safe where he is. Our forces. I, sire. Splitting up the troops, sire. I. I. Forward. That'll do him today. You stay away from me, assassin. You hear me? I fucking kill you. I, sire. Move out. Okay, let's leave behind the weakest units, which is, uh, that. That army is probably actually better than the princes, so if we take this to Khazadum and then attack from that way. Oh, bollocks. Goblin Town, the general center for getting its ass kicked by fucking evil forces of death. We are so fucking screwed now. I know I say that all of the time, but this time, I fucking mean it. Okay? Seriously. I mean it this time. <laughs> we're screwed. No matter what course of action I take, we're screwed. <laughs> I do not see a way to not be screwed. I, my liege. My king. I, lord. I, 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 my king. Move out. Okay, we're going to keep the defenses up at Lonely Mountain and Iron Hills. We'll keep them there and focus our forces on Mordor at the moment. Okay, Goblin Town's obviously going to be sieged around the next turn. Aye. Oh, good lord, we're fucking screwed. Now, if I could get to those Arnor places, take those rebel settlements and give them to Arnor, then they'd share borders of Isengard, which means they'd then attack Isengard. I have no idea why they aren't attacking the rebel settlements. Oh, look! Goblin Town is under siege again. <laughs> why does this stuff always happen to me? <laughs> uh, I've not seen anybody else's dwarven plate for a go this badly. It doesn't matter how many of the Easterlings you kill, or how much you push, they just fucking repel you again. I think the evil factions have won this series, this playthrough, I think, I mean. Unless Arnor pulls some kind of gigantic nuclear missile out of its ass and just tosses it at Mordor. Yeah, I get it. They're under attack. And now there's yet another Mordor settlement right on my borders. I am not marching out to help the elves. What the fuck have they done for me? <laughs> I saw it. I. Yeah, I'd quite like to give the the uh, king what's his face here control of this larger army of highly professional troops. Huh. 
Now, see, Goblin Town will be able to defend themselves against. Oh crap! They've got catapults. Okay, yeah. We're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> We're totally screwed. Death is sure to come. Yeah, I can't sing. Huh. <sighs> Dale, you will defend yourselves. Can't fucking monocoddle you all the goddamn time. Who's a good Dale? Who's a good Dale? No, you're a bad fucking Dale. Defend yourself, man. I have other concerns. Like the giant Mordor armies that keep attacking me on every single fucking front. I could- I'd just like to ignore the giant Easterling armies attacking me on every front for a little bit. Is all I'm asking. Move out. <sighs> yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> I'm literally just going to call the title of this video, We're Screwed. We are so dead. They have catapults, which means they're just going to annihilate me. Well, by annihilate me, I mean they have catapults, so that means they can just knock down the walls. <laughs> and this entire strategy of defending Goblin Town revolves around having one fucking kill box. Not multiple kill boxes, because they've been f flinging fucking balls of death at me. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's do this. I wonder if they have more than one banner room. No, but they are going to send the catapults first to kill me. Okay, plan two, plan two, plan two, plan two. Fall the fuck back. Fall the fuck back. We fall the fuck back, wait to see where the hell they're going to shoot, and, uh... What are you doing, tiny man? Be over there. It's like I refuse to leave! 
Yeah, 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 come on. You can't take them all on by yourself. But they're going to send those catapults in. And I don't want to be near wherever the hell they're shooting. Because they're going to blow down the gates or a wall or something with catapults. Yeah, the wall. No, 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 no. Get back, get back, you stupid fucks. Do you want to be hit by catapults? Nobody wants to be hit by catapults. Get the back. Why are you going all the way over there? No, it's a bad dwarves. Bad dwarves. Stupid fucking short bastards. I don't love getting catapults to the face. Okay, so eventually that catapult will get down the wall, but the bad news is. They won't stop shooting after that. We're screwed, is what I'm saying. The gates, the wall, well, the wall will eventually fall. Here he goes. Fight on. They must get no further. Okay, now we just have to see where they're going to shoot next. Okay, they're going to make multiple entry points. Did I say we're screwed? Yeah, I think I did. That. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're sending in the troops. Come on, lads, this is only a life or death situation. Let's get into position faster, shall we? A tad bit of speed would be just excellent right now. I know you're short. I don't mean to push. But they're here. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fucking insist. Hmm. Fight on, lads. Yeah, did I mention we're fucked? 
The Iron Guards guys did a quite a nice job though, actually. Running in and allowing uh, my pikemen to get into position. Although we're screwed. <laughs> Why are the gates open? Why are you guys facing the wrong way? <laughs> At least their catapults aren't shooting us. Although they are now using the walls to get through and attack us. Yeah, we're fucked. There goes that captain. Okay, I'm no idiot. We chase them now. <laughs>
Okay, they've got their balls back. Let's run. <laughs> Uh-oh. Catapult. What are you idiots doing? Get inside, now! <laughs> Bring it on, bitches. Yeah, that's right, you better run, bitch. Please do not run towards the catapults, though, because one smack in the middle of my trips, I'm fucked. <laughs> okay, if we hold, we should win. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Okay. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Okay, we've won. Someone told me what the Dwarven Gods were, but for the love of God, I can't remember. <laughs> they love me, though. Victory is ours. Thank God the Orcs weren't smart enough to use the catapults to destroy my morale. <laughs> we are victorious. The day has ended and Thank you. Thank you. Clear? I, I wouldn't call that clear. <laughs> I'd call that fucking desperately close.
Never forgetting there's a fucking crusade target on top of uh, Moria. Or Khazadam, or whatever the hell you want to call it. There's a giant kill sign over my king, okay? <laughs> Not particularly nice sort of things to happen, but... You know, the last time this happened, the entire fucking Gondor fell, so... <sighs> Ew, bollocks. Oh, you fucking prick. They have assassinated my prince. I have no heir. They just assassinated my prince. I'm gonna stick you. Things just keep getting better and better with every fucking turn. Oh crap. Where the fuck did you come from, you sneaky little prick? I'm seriously just thinking, fuck him. <laughs> fuck Dale. What have they ever done to me other than, other than cause me fucking all God knows amounts of stress? My king. I move out. We march no further today. Yeah. I'm pretty goddamn sure that Goblin Town cannot take another hit like that. Okay, guys, anyway, it's well over the 30 minute mark. Uh, when we come back, we'll get fucked some more. Yay. <laughs> Annotation, top right hand side. Go there to see my, mis my fucking misery. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink. Soul out.